Mars Attractive 2. I spent 100 days in the medieval times in Minecraft from Forge Labs. Hi, man. How's it going? Yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, this is the uh, Kingdom of Daldar. Just came up with that right now. by evil forces and taken over by terrible beasts like uh, this uh, emu this uh, cyclops uh, ants or something like this there's, there's a lot there's like these whatever this thing is like uh, look, take a look at that thing it was like uh it's probably this guy's a viking i think i am returning to the kingdom of daldar where i'll either reclaim it as my own or die but you know what my mans no that is that is not all because in just a few days i'm releasing a second 100 days video yeah an another one 100 days in skyrim vr okay this took me a year to record one full year to record this and you know what it's finally done i'm out of there uh, skeleton lizard okay okay they're coming how's it going hey you yeah you fresh meat for your stomach yeah sure you feeling sick what do you mean am i feeling sick this man not taking me down get him with the shield okay this guy's got an arrow it's just like this video and if you give it a shot and watch it wow it would mean a lot to a man like me you know and speaking of a man like me how about you, you consider clicking that uh you know that little red button go ahead yeah, click that thing you press that button and, uh, wow, hey, I'll be a man who's smiling big time, if you know what I mean. Hey, while you're in it, why don't you leave a comment saying, my man, don't worry about the crocodile. It's not, not a problem. Don't worry. Just uh, something like that. You know, that's a good comment. Leave that one. Okay, uh, it's time to see if I can survive 100 days in the uh, kingdom of Daldar. Let's inspect the both of us. Hey, day one. I spawned in a cold, cold biome. Exactly where I did not want to spawn. Uh, but you know what? You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. So uh, I spawned near this castle, which you know, looked good. Uh, and there was also this bird. What's this, what's this guy? How's it going, my man? Standing there? Oh, hey, how's it going? All right, see you later. Almost immediately, I uh, fell in a pit, which was, was a good indication of how things were gonna go. Oh, oh, come on. Before doing anything, before I went running around, I, I made some stone tools and weapons. And you know what, look at this. I made a shield, okay? Everyone gets so upset when I don't make a shield in this, but this time, not happening. Look, I, I got the shield, everything's good. I'm a man with a shield, no problems. And just doing that, God, I got very hungry doing that. Very, very hungry, so uh, I jumped in the river to get some fish. Got a brown trout and a, a gar. Felt like my man Jeremy Wade from River Monsters. You ever watch that show? Like a guy pulls out like a, a, a these giant fish from rivers. It's got to be one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah, anyways, back to the video here. Uh, I wanted to go to that castle, but I knew that going there was gonna immediately get me killed. But below the castle, there was a little village which looked uh, much more safe. But before I went there, I had to had to eat. And you can't just cook this fish like normal. You can't just throw it on a furnace. You got to uh, make a little knife and uh, cut it up into fillets it's good you gotta, you gotta eat you gotta work for your food it's you know it's good so after that was dealt with and i had a bunch of fish i uh, walked over to that village and was very cautious because i saw guards around and you never know in this uh, mod pack you know these the guys are gonna try to kill you or uh, do something to you you don't know so i walked up very slowly and it turns out these guys were safe they weren't uh, interested in me instead they were meant to keep the village safe and you know what they did not do a good job of that because this place was a war zone yeah, there was wither skeletons in buildings. There was skeletons walking around, zombies. This place was not safe in the slightest. This was a, a bad village. I mean, just look at this. This is not a safe village. There's just there's bones and arrows and... What are you guys doing? You guys are not doing a good job here. I went further into the village and there were even more enemies pounding on doors trying to get in to kill more villagers. What was going on here? Why was it like this? But it was dark and uh, there was beds, so I just slept there. 
In the morning, I looked around the village and I found more skeletons. I tried to get the guards to help me, but you know what? Those, those guys did not care at all. Let's go, let's go, come on. Do something. Come on, take him out. Okay, come on. What are you doing, dude? There's a, there's a... I mean, look at this. I found a house full of wither skeletons, and the guards, they, they just, it didn't matter to them. And you guys don't care. You guys don't, you don't do anything. You don't care. You, you carry around the shield, the armor. You don't do anything with it. This is not a safe village. I should, I should just leave. Before I left, I took a good look at the castle. Oh, look at that. There's a crocodile outside. I entered the forest, and pretty quickly I found a wolf. Yeah, look, everyone loves a wolf. But here, I'm going to tell you right now, there's no point in naming this guy. Zero point, because uh, this guy does not survive long at all. I don't even know what happened to him. Yeah, honestly, I think like a crocodile tagged him and took him down in the swamp. But uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see more of that crocodile soon. Just For now, I don't know what happened to this dog, okay? No idea. Anyways, on my way through the forest, I uh, came across this, like, small castle outpost. I don't know what it was. It was like a tower, or it looked like a castle, but uh, I don't know. What are these things called? I have no idea. So I thought, there's no way I'm going in there right now. If I walk in that place, I'm dead. So I kept going, and I uh, ended up in the swamp I was talking about. Okay, this place, you know, it looks good. It looks like a cool place. You know how much I love swamps, but, uh, wow. This is, this was not a safe place at all. There's these, like, crocodiles. You see this thing? It looks like a regular crocodile. Crocodile, all right okay no these things are they are deadly i'm telling you right now they'll take down a fully armored man in like two hits they'll grab you thrash you around and it's over they snap down hard okay, you're gonna see more of that later okay you see this guy right here just remember this man you will be seeing more of this man you know will also kill you these are the first yeah see those right there as i was running through the swamp i spotted a flock of them and uh, the four stuff i had which told me i cannot go any further because these things they will uh, launch like a thousand feathers at you and just slaughter you on sight these are deadly deadly birds this whole swamp was deadly this is not a good place to be so since i couldn't go any further and it was getting dark i thought you know what i'm gonna sleep in a cave good old cave can't go wrong with it but before i went to bed in the cave i uh made it a little cozy you know i hung a little lantern put my bed down made a little table next to it, it was good i, I like this cave a quick message from this uh, video sponsor, uh, Vessi. Take a look at this. You know, you know what those are? Waterproof shoes, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a man who is prone to wet feet. Yeah, I call them soakers. Go for a walk, I end up uh, stepping in some sort of water. Here, look at this clip. I didn't even record this for this uh, video. This, this happens to me way more than it should. I'm real sick of coming home with uh, wet feet like uh, three or four times a week. But you know what? No problem now, okay? These Vessis, look at this. I, I can dunk them in water. You know what? Ew. Oh, my sock bone dry. Not only are these uh, bad boys waterproof, but these are these are solid shoes. Okay, these are yeah, good quality shoes. Look at this. This is me jumping like 30 feet in the air with these. You can, you can soar with these things. I'm blazing speed as well. I'm a fast, fast man running through the woods here. I had to slow down the footage so you can even see me. And lastly, look at this. Absolutely perfect kickflip. You landed on my first try. Okay. If anyone says it wasn't the first one, just say, hey, no, it was definitely the first one. Don't worry. These are the perfect shoes. You can wear them in the winter. You can wear them in the summer. They're breathable. They're Solid, they're, they're waterproof. Yeah, zero percent chance I come home with wet feet anymore. So you know what you're gonna do? You're, you're gonna use my code Forge. Use that code to get twenty-five dollars off uh, on order on these things. Yeah, there's a link in the description. Now, waterproof shoes, they look good. Hey, who doesn't want that? Again, big thanks to my man Zavessi for sponsoring this video. Day three, brand new day, brand new problems. You know, uh, so I got out of the cave, walked out, and uh, took a look around, see what was going on in this area. I saw that there was a destroyed Nether portal nearby. Okay, these things they normally have like a chest near them and uh it's normally got some good stuff in it so i went over to it to see what was going on and sure enough boom look at that there was a chest and the stuff that was inside this chest would uh i just i, I can't even put into words how good it was okay first of all there was this ocelot helmet it makes you jump quicker gives you a little bit of uh, armor i think i put that on there was also uh, like fire charges who cares about those uh there was this explosive crossbow okay shoot arrows and they explode and this thing yeah, take a look at that you know what that is so, that's a beehive, okay? This is this is what you want to see in a chest. This thing is it is so good. You're going to see why in like two seconds from now. So because I had the exploding crossbow, I thought, you know what? I'm going to deal with this bird problem. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow this thing out of the sky. Okay, okay, whoa, 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 okay, 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 not good. Not good. Here, fight, peace. Yeah, 
I see that? The bees. They saved me. Uh, they are good bees. Hey, bees? I love these bees. I'm a bee guy now. I was feeling good, so I went up the hill to gather some stuff uh, that the birds dropped, which uh, it was mostly just their feathers, but the, these feathers are you know, normal feathers. They, they let you craft some crazy stuff, like this dagger. It's like, quick, and it uh, does some decent damage. It also make this thing. I have no idea what it's called. I don't remember, but uh, wow, I was feeling like a big idiot because of this thing. You will see some of that very soon. I really wanted to make this thing. But while I was up there on that hill, I took a look around to see what was going on, see what was in the distance, and uh, I saw that there was a, what looked like a a little uh, village or something. The buildings looked a little bit different, though. They looked, uh, I don't know, it was in the snow area. It looked interesting, but I thought, you know what? No, don't go over there yet. Wait till you got some arrows and armor and then go. That's the thing with this uh, mod pack. You don't know. Some of the villages look good, and you go there, and it is not good, not safe at all. So I got off the hill and started walking through the swamp and just saw more crocodiles, okay? This is not, you can't have these things so close to where you're living, especially if you're in a cave, because these things, you can't, they camouflage. I can see myself running right into a whole bunch of these, so I thought, you know what? Let's, let's kill them all I can. So I launched some explosive arrows at them, and, uh, oh, they did not kill them at all. They just started uh, chasing me down, so I had to run away. The next day, I was totally out of arrows. Really needed arrows, so uh, I wanted to go try to find them. So I went into the woods to look for uh, flint and feathers. Uh, so I found, a, I found a little bit of uh, flint, or gravel, I don't know. Uh, uh, then I kept looking, and I found a, a shipwreck. Yeah, I love seeing something like that. So I went on board and uh, found a chest. And guess what was in the chest? A, a ton of iron. More iron than I knew what to do with. Look at all this. There's so much iron. There was also this uh, wolf head. A you know, wolf hood. Put this thing on, and wow. Oh, look how good this looks. Also, next to the shipwreck, there was the, the coast. It was covered in uh, gravel. I went over and just started digging until my shovel broke, and I got so much flint. Hey, this was a good day. In the morning, I wanted to know how good my man the bees were. Right? Right, these things kill a crocodile, that's what I wanted to know. So I walked over to where they were, uh, got one to start chasing me, and boom, let the bees go. Put the hive down, and uh, wow, look at this. Yeah, they actually took one down. Can you believe that? And then the other one came, so uh, I had to run. Since I now had armor, I thought, you know what, I can go see what's going on in that village. So I carefully walked up to it, and it turns out it was a, a Viking village. A few moments I killed him. Uh, those are strong guys, okay? Vikings are strong. You see how much damage that man did to me? I had nearly full iron armor and he, with one swing, he did that. So, right then and there, I knew I was not ready to go in the village yet. No way. I went home and uh, I used those feathers I got from that, like, flock of birds and I made that dagger I was talking about. Hey, day six. Yeah, so I had those feathers, the ones I was just talking about that I made the dagger from, and I thought, what else can I make? Yeah, what about that thing I saw, that, uh, whatever, it is, I don't even know what it's called. So I went outside and I got uh, a string that I needed to make it, killed some spiders or whatever, uh, then came back and uh, I made it. It said that it would shoot arrows out in every direction around you. And I thought that sounded pretty good. So uh, when I went outside to test it, I quickly realized it's a one-use item. Hey, back to the woods. I really, really needed to find uh, some feathers so that I could make some arrows because uh, I was getting desperate here. So I started walking around and I found ravens, which they do give you feathers, but there's not that many of them. And uh, chicken would be way better so I could farm it or something. Uh, so I killed a couple ravens and got a few feathers, but nothing. Uh, so I kept looking for the chickens and uh, found none. No chickens in these, this forest. I don't know where they were. I was also looking for a rabbit so that I could uh, get a rabbit foot because that would be very useful later if I were to find a hippogriff. Uh, but no, I did not find a rabbit either. Walked right through the entire forest, right till I got to the edge from where I uh, originally entered. And, uh, walked out into that clearing, and uh, you know what I saw? A, a snapping turtle. Oh, that man uh, bit me. Bit me good. You know what? I, I like snapping turtles. They look like uh, prehistoric creatures. A very old-looking animal. You ever find one of these things in real life? I was going for a walk one day, and uh, I saw one, a baby one, on a path. And I, it wasn't moving or anything, so I picked it up to see what was going on. And uh, I brought it up to my nose and took a, one, little, one little sniff. And I can't even put into words how bad this thing smelled. It was by far the worst smelling thing I have ever smelled in my entire life. That was like six years ago, and I still vividly remember the smell. I started gagging, and like I, my eyes were watering. I'm telling you right now, never smell one of these things, okay? Don't do it. It, it smells It smells so bad. What, what are we talking about right now? People are probably clicking off the video, getting annoyed that this guy's going on a rant about how bad turtles smell. Like, what is that? Come on, focus. 
So I went back into that village that I first uh, went into at the beginning, and uh, I was very hungry. I was looking for food. I needed something to eat, you know? So uh, I started going from house to house, uh, and eventually I found a chest that had some bread in it. Good, love some bread. It's good, so happy to find this. Got all healed up, and I kept going through the, uh, through the village here, killing more stuff, doing what the guards couldn't do, you know? I found a chest in a minecart, and uh, it had a glaive in it. Okay, this is a, this is a good weapon. I used it to clear out more houses and uh, where I got more bread, some carrots, uh, and some emeralds. And I slept in the village. I left the village in the morning and I went into the forest hoping to find a uh, chicken. Still on the hunt for chickens, you know? Uh, but I only found a platypus. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, look at this. Look at this man. Swimming around. Also found a bunch of raccoons. These things were all over the forest and, uh, you know, I don't know. They wanted some bread or something. Hey, they love it. Are you eating my bread? So I kept looking for chickens, uh, and eventually I got attacked by, a, like, a, a knight or something. So I used the bees, and I was able to kill the guy. It was, it was very good. I was actually very surprised. And he was near that tower that uh, I was talking about before, that, like, little castle tower or something. And so since I had armor and uh, the bees now, I thought, hey, let's, let's see what's going on in there. So I ran inside, and uh, there was, wow, there was a lot of... A lot of archers in there shooting arrows at me. I ran up the stairs and managed to make it. This one guy fell off straight to the bottom. I kept going up right to the top where I got uh, two guys that started attacking each other. It was good. But then there was this, uh, I don't know, a king, knight or something. The big guy of the tower, the big boy, he started coming for me. So I had an idea. I pulled out my shield and I shield bashed him off the top of the stairs right down to the bottom of the tower. That man went down hard, uh, but he didn't die. So I, I used the opportunity to kill all the other guys while he was coming back up. The fall must have done a ton of damage to him because I was able to pretty easily kill him after that. And uh, he dropped a diamond, my first diamond. Very happy to get this. But I was more happy about the fact that this tower was now clear. You know what that meant? Yeah, this was my tower now. It was perfect. It was uh, totally built. I had a staircase going right up to the top. It was uh, mostly safe, I guess. A uh, good view from the top. The only, the only thing I did not like about this tower was the uh, uh, giant redstone monstrosity at the top of my screen. Couldn't get rid of that that was always there anyways i went to the top of the tower and uh i made a crafting bench and a little bed and i slept up top in my new tower it was good in the morning i uh, took a look out around from the top of the tower to see what was going on and i had a pretty good view of that viking village i was talking about before to see what they were doing down there and uh there was a uh, a lot of Vikings in that village, way more than I thought. So I was very happy that I didn't charge in there wildly before, recklessly, when I got killed. I knew that if I wanted to take on this village, I would have to definitely need to get arrows. I absolutely needed those. But for now, I needed to get my stuff over to this tower, so I went back to the cave, grabbed everything, and brought it. There was a lot of trees around the tower, and that wasn't not the best to have this many trees. You never know who could be lurking around out there. You'll walk outside your door, and uh, boom, there's a creeper or someone. It's not good. So I made flint and steel and i just uh burned yeah burned a huge chunk of the forest down very quick way to get rid of trees just burn them down they're gone so by the end of the day most of the trees were down and i had a nice view around my house or tower the next day i was back looking for chickens i really wanted to fight that viking village but i just couldn't do it unless i had feathers so i went out and started looking for chickens everywhere i was searching for them i had to fight a knight at one point and uh, i was getting a little bit better at fighting these guys i wasn't so scared of them anymore i spotted a uh, building near that ruined nether portal and i thought maybe there's some feathers or something in there that would help me out here maybe a weapon i don't know something uh, so i went over to it but before i went in i wanted to take a good look around it you know make sure there was nothing funny going on behind it or anyone waiting for me to go in so i walked all around the entire thing and it looked relatively safe uh so i built a little like uh, platform or steps i don't know I, I built up to the second floor where i entered i figured everyone would be expecting me to go in through the front and uh but no i'm gonna go in through the top instead when i got in there there was a spawner so I immediately destroyed that and put a bunch of torches down. And then, only then, after making sure it was safe, uh, I went and checked out what was in the chest. And you know what? I'm just going to be honest. I did not write down what was in the chest in my notes. So I have no idea. You can see. You can take a look. What's in there? You tell me. I don't know. I, I completely forget. But there was an enchanting table in the room. And, uh, yeah, that's good. It's good to have one of those things. But you'll see a little later on, I made a very big mistake with this thing right here. And, uh, yeah, you'll see what happens. For now, I needed to clear out the rest of the building. So I went downstairs, and uh, there was a, you know, a lot of guys down there. Okay, they're coming. Go, 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 go. These are the bees. These are the bees. Go. After getting all healed up, I went back in with uh, my man, the bees. You guys are okay. There's a lot of them. Okay, well, look at my hearts. 
was getting dark, and hey, those guys, they did a lot of damage. So I was just about to leave when I realized that I still had uh, that, like, absorption from the golden apple. So I thought, you know what? I'm going back in. Yo, I'm back. You guys want to do this? Take a beast. Take a beast. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Look at my health. Look at my health. The next day, I had to make a new shield. Yeah, everyone's going to be so happy. Look at this, two shields. Great. The first one I made got shattered from that fight, so I had to make another one. And look how good I looked. Yeah, look at this. I'm like a true warrior here. Anyways, I went back, and uh, the room was clear. Looks like I killed everyone, but there was... I see... Okay, I didn't see this at the time, but there was a spawner on the ceiling. I'll find out about that later. Uh, for now, I just looted the chests, and I uh, got some good weapons in there. I got this also, uh, Corruption Beacon. You ever hear about one of these things? I have no idea what this thing did. I just saw that it had negative effects, and I thought, yeah, I'm not. There's no way I'm using it. No way I'm taking negative whatever it was. So I just brought this thing home and put it right in the chest, and uh, I'll be honest, that's exactly where it stayed for this entire playthrough. And I'm not doing, messing around with something called Corruption Beacon. On my way home, I was uh, attacked in the woods by a knight. This guy wants to fight the bees? You think you can take on the bees? Yeah, I see. You get stung. chickens what was going on i was wondering where the chickens were it's been like 10 days now and i have found like one chicken total i was getting very worried that one of the mods like disabled chickens or something because i just could not find these things and i desperately needed feathers uh, but then yeah i realized something hold on one second this is a feather you can make feathers. You can make arrows with this. There's the arrows. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't think that the uh, bird feathers I got would work. I have no idea. I'm, I'm an idiot. Well, now that I had arrows, the next day I was going to storm right into that Viking village and take it down. In the morning, I went for it. The first guy, he went down easy. The second guy, he, uh, he chased me a little bit, but you know what? I lured him into a hole and uh, he fell right down there. Pretty sure that guy's still down there in that hole, running around, doing stuff. So I kept fighting and pushing into the village. I found out that the uh, guys with the scars on their face, yeah, those are the those are the deadly ones. They do a lot of damage and have a lot of health. You gotta watch out for those ones. Those are you know, strong men. I wiped out mostly everyone in the village. Then I went into the first house and I had a lot of meat and some weapons. Uh, the second building you had tons of iron. And the third? Oh, I wish I came here earlier, because you know what? There was a whole chest full of uh, arrows. Very good to see that. But you know what? I ended up wasting almost all of them killing Vikings around the area. Just kind of a big waste of time. And just like that, the uh, Vikings were dealt with. One day, wiped the whole village out. And uh, it was good. Pretty, I was happy that I did that. So now that I had this whole cleared out, I wanted to uh, look around, see what was going on in the, this frost biome. And it did not take me long to run into my next problem. Uh, frost Maw. You know what this guy is? It's like a yeti or something, a big beast. Okay, this guy, you don't mess with Frostma, okay? He launches this frost beam or this breath or something, I don't know. It will freeze a man in his tracks. And because I was so successful fighting the Vikings, and I had my bees and my armor and stuff, I thought, yeah, I, I can fight him. So, I attacked. Big mistake, my man. This man was way too powerful, and it was day 11. I was playing recklessly, so I turned back while I still couldn't and went home. The next day, I had a plan. I was going to go back to Frostmaw and take him down. This was absolutely going to work. On my way there, though, I got a little bit distracted. Now, when you see a dead dragon, you got to stop for something like that, okay? You get bones from one of those things, and you can use those bones to do some very good stuff. So I made sure I got those, and then uh, then I went over to Frostmaw. You want to know what my plan was? My plan was to just hit, hit him with everything I had. You throw him at the bees, throw the arrows at him, do everything I could to take this man down. So I attacked. And, uh, didn't work too well. No, I got hit in the face by, like, five ice blocks. Yeah, like, five things in a row hit me. I don't know what was going on. Maybe my W and ASD key was frozen or something, because I just stood there as they hit me in the face. As I fought him, I realized that my arrows were reflecting off of him. They were bouncing right off the man, coming back at me and exploding near me sometimes. So my ranged attacks weren't working. The only thing that was actually doing damage against the guy was uh, my bees. I love the bees. They were helping me out, but the bees alone would not take Frostmaw down. I was getting beat up pretty bad. I mean, look at my health here. I had one heart at one point. I, I, he was gonna, Frostmaw was going to kill me. But just as I was about to give up, I came up with another plan. Okay. You know my exploding crossbow? Well, the arrows didn't damage him. 
the explosion did. So if I shot near him, it would damage him. So I started shooting arrows beside him on the hill, on the, on the river, and trees and stuff. And sometimes it, it would connect and it would do damage. And there it was. That was the key to taking him down. Unfortunately, though, I ran out of arrows pretty quickly, so I left, determined to come back tomorrow with a ton of arrows and kill Frostmaw. The very first thing I did the next day was go down to that gravel pit and uh, just start digging, dig, 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 until I got uh, enough flint to make a bunch of arrows. I think I walked away with like 16 flint. I used that to make a bunch of arrows, and then I went back to Frostmaw. This was it. This was the day that this man died. I started attacking him. I, first I sent in the bees, and then I started shooting explosive crossbow bolts near him, and just bit by bit, slowly, I took the man down. It was a good fight. My man Frostmaw, he put up a good fight, but you know what? You can't beat a man with bees and a crossbow, as I always say. So I walked over to him, and uh, he dropped this, like, frozen breath thing. It automatically repairs itself, but you can use it to launch yeah, frozen breath or a whirlwind or something at people, and it turns them into an ice cube. So I used it on a bear. Froze a bear in his tracks. Look at this. Froze him. I started exploring the frozen tundra more now that uh, Frostmaw was dead and I didn't have to worry about this beast coming up on me. I was using my ice thing on enemies, including this, like, a viking. Look at this. Froze the man solid. I then kept exploring more and, until I saw this. A Roman outpost. It was next to a bunch of icebergs, and, uh, what's going on here? Do Romans do stuff with ice? I have no idea about it. I've never studied anything with Romans. People always talk about, the, oh, remember the Roman Empire? And I always say, no, I don't know. I know about that, uh, big wooden horse. Anyways, so from outside, I shot the guards out of the towers with my exploding crossbow, and I climbed the walls. I carefully pushed along the wall, uh, going from tower to tower, trying to kill guards from afar and take out people in the courtyard. Eventually, I got over to the other side, uh, where the iceberg was, and I dug straight into it to see what was on the other side or whatever. I don't know why I did this, but when I got over to the, through the iceberg, there was like a whale swimming around in the ocean. I thought, ooh, that is very big animal probably has a lot of meat on it probably enough meat for a man like me to uh, not have to go hunting for a while and I mean, it might not be a bad idea to try to take it down so i completely forgot about what i was doing with the romans and uh, just started shooting arrow after arrow at the at the whale this thing probably had more health than frostma i was shooting at this thing for what felt like the entire day but eventually it uh, died so i jumped into the icy water to try to get all the meat and uh, you know what no meat this man did not drop anything, nothing at all. Just a huge waste of time. And arrows that I definitely could not, I did not have enough arrows to be doing this. And uh, here I was, shooting a whale, uh, trying to get meat that doesn't exist. I tried to swim out of the ocean or frozen area or wherever it was, and I ended up coming up underneath the ice. You know how terrifying that is? Eventually I got back on topic and I uh, went back to the wall and started shooting at the Romans. I shot down the Roman king, emperor, knight, I don't know, whatever the main guy was there. He looked different from the other ones. I took the man down and uh, he dropped his very cool helmet. The only problem was was that it was down there and I was up on the wall, so I had to be careful. Uh, first, I used the bees and they started taking everyone out. While, while they were distracted, I jumped down, grabbed the helmet, and climbed back up. And it was good, and I got this thing. Uh, a ton of armor. What's this thing? Four armor, two armor toughness. Yeah, look at that. Some good stuff right there. Eventually, I wiped out the entire outpost and left it everything that they had. They were sleeping in these, like, tent things made of wool. Uh, and there was a bunch of chests in there. And wow, these chests, they had a ton of stuff in them. Bread. More bread than a man could, knows what to do with. Because the night was falling, I decided to sleep there in the uh, Roman uh, outpost or whatever. The next morning I left and I stopped at the Viking village on my way back to do something that I meant to do before. I burned the place to the ground, scorched it. When I got home, I climbed up to the top of my tower and I started looking out to see if there was anything going on that I should see. And uh, I spotted a horse in the distance. The horse is something I definitely wanted to get because, you know, if you're doing medieval, you gotta be, you gotta you need a horse, you know? Put a saddle on that guy, grab a lance, and uh, ride around, see what's going on. So uh, I went down to get the horse and, uh, wow. Shift click. How do you. I, this is my nightmare. 
Yeah, there's a bit of a problem, though. I did not know how to tame a horse. If, if we don't figure this out, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be very upset with me for not being able to figure out how to ride you. I never figured out how to tame that horse. I didn't ride a horse once in this entire playthrough. One of the only things I wanted to do. Couldn't do it. But you know what? Don't worry, because right here next to the horse, there was something very interesting. There was a man who had a whole bunch of animals in cages. Yeah, he had like a chicken, a rabbit, I think there was a pig, all in cages. This man was an animal trader, and when he spoke to him, he sold uh, spawn eggs. The only problem was, was that those eggs were very expensive, and uh, I had not even close to enough emeralds or diamonds to buy anything from him. But I really wanted to get something. I had no idea what any of these eggs were, and my mind was running wild with uh, the possibilities of what could be in the eggs. And in that moment, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to become this man. I wanted to become an animal trader. But I was a long way away from getting there. For now, I went back home and uh, I killed two spiders, which I used to make uh, a dragon bow with a dragon bone. So very good. I needed XP the next day, so I went back into the tundra and started killing everything I saw, except for mooses. There's no way I was killing these guys. Uh, I found some cows, though. Cows! All right, this is great. I need milk. I need to milk one of you. How do I milk you? Do I just right-click on you? That's it. I drink this. Nearby, there's a graveyard, and I wanted to see what was going on in it, so uh, I went in, and, uh, oh, it's spooky in there. around you, you gotta kill it quick or it'll like haunt you i don't know how long it'll chase you but you take the thing down it, it only drops ectoplasm though and uh i don't know what you do with that so i just left it while walking around the area i got attacked by a dread knight this was a strong man but i killed him and i got this sweet sword 17 damage on this thing it was, it was really good but it was starting to get dark so i, I wanted to head home and uh, just as i was about to get home the little goblin trader popped out of nowhere and wanted to trade with me i love these little goblins that run around doing little trades this is a good guy although i didn't have anything to trade with him right now so i just uh, put him in a hole for now next morning i wanted to enchant my dragon bow so i went over to that uh, house where the illagers were spawning and uh, where the enchanting table was remember i said that i made a big mistake with this thing well here it is you get to see it so i tried to use my bow on it uh, but i was not getting any level three enchants so i thought all right let's tear this all down and we'll set it up somewhere else now uh, i should not have done that i should have just brought bookshelves here and added to it instead when i tore it down i put it in a chest at my house and just never touched it again because i thought it was too much work so it was a big waste and then after i left i was uh, attacked by another flock of birds no, no 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 i need a feather okay okay i don't want those others the beast Day. Ooh, I remembered that uh, I kept my man the goblin in a hole out in the Arctic somewhere and that uh, I was meaning to trade with him. That man really wanted gravel. He was saying, give me some gravel. So I went over to the gravel pit and uh, dug up a ton of it for him. He's going to be so happy to get this. Uh, but then when I went back to find where I uh, kept him in the hole, yeah, I could not find the man. I had no idea where I put him. Okay, I'm about to lose my mind. Where is this goblin? I dug the man underground and now I don't know where I put him. The only way I could find the guy was uh, by looking at my old recording footage to figure out where exactly I put him, and then uh, then I found him. Mm. I've come to make the trade. You said you wanted to grab. Okay. Okay. This is why you gotta have dogs. See? That's why you have the wolves. Good job. Here. Any of you, any of you get hurt? Uh, I forgot to mention, yeah, wolves! I tamed a bunch of them, and uh, I was very glad I did, because had it not been for them, I would have been uh, dead. Would have been killed right here, but the wolves saved me. I went back to my tower, and uh, I made a diamond crossbow. Right, remember how good this thing was? Well, I wanted another one. I needed more feathers, though, to make bolts, so the next day I went out to the animal trader and uh, cracked open his cages and uh, killed his chickens. 
I probably should have farmed these things, if I'm being honest, but I was very impatient, and uh, the idea of two or three feathers sounded very good to me, so uh, I did it, although it was yeah, probably a mistake. I also killed the man's rabbits. thought maybe I'd get a rabbit foot, but uh, I did not, so I, I just took the cages back to my house, and uh, that was that. I still wanted to enchant my dragon bow, and uh, since I found one of those Power 4 books, it was the perfect thing to put on. It would make this bow very strong, very, very strong, so I went over to uh, the anvil that I think was at the Roman's place, and uh, I enchanted it. The only problem was was that the uh, avian arrows or whatever they're called, they did not work with this bow, so it was just useless at this point. Hey, day 20. Okay, let me tell you about day 20. This was a very tragic day. There was a lot of death. So I was going somewhere. I can't tell you where. I forget where, but uh, I came across those snapping turtles again. There's a turtle again. Snapping turtle. Oh, no, he's in the sky. Careful, my man. I warned you about these things. Here. No, stop. There's turtles. There's the big turtle fight. Come on. Don't kill the dog. Kill two dogs. Okay, we're going. We're getting out of here. Come on. I. This really made me sad. It, not so much the dogs, but the, the snapping turtle. One of the things that I wanted to do was uh, capture a snapping turtle and keep it in a cage. You know, it would have been the cool wildlife trader that had a snapping turtle cage. People come and say, whoa, look at that turtle. And no, I did not find any snapping turtles after this. This was the last one I saw. I'm pretty sure they went extinct. I was very sad when that thing died. Yeah, so I remember why I came out here. I was trying to go to the, the castle. Remember how I said that I'd be back? Well, yeah, I was back now well, without my dogs and uh, no snapping turtle. Just a sad man walking around. I wanted to attack it now that I had at least some stuff, so uh, I used the approach that I did with the Romans to attack from the walls. I climbed up and I started to hit them one by one, uh, but they hit back and uh, they actually killed more of my dogs. I mean, a lot of people were dying today. I was killing as many as I could, shooting them down, trying to take them down, trying to clear this place out, but there was a, a lot of them in there. A lot. Okay. That was really dangerous. After uh, getting myself all healed up, I, I went back in for more. I looted the chest and just uh, take a look at how much good stuff I got here. And that was just one chest. There was like tons of these around the castle. This place was a gold mine, but night was falling, so uh, I left and slept in the nearby village. The following day, I figured that I'd check out the smaller castle behind the, the big one. And I'm glad I did, because this place, it was also a gold mine, I'm telling you. Much smaller, easier to wipe everyone out, and uh, wow, the, the stuff that I got in there was incredible. I got a, almost a full set of diamond gear clearing this place out on day 21. Can you believe that? But getting the uh, diamonds was one thing. Getting out alive was another. Oh, there comes a the big guy. There he goes, one off. That guy's gonna be the big boy in the corner. Yeah, your arrows just reflect off him. Oh, there's a lot of guards. I'm out. You can't kill me? I defeated Frostmaw. You're about to feel the, the ability of Frostmaw in a second. Freeze! Now that I had more diamond gear, I, f I felt safer taking on the bigger castle, so I went back and uh, I, I killed one of the, the big knight guys. And he dropped a heavy chest piece, heavy plate chest piece. This thing had a lot of armor. This thing was very stronger than diamond armor. Even with this strong chest piece, though, taking on the full castle and getting into the house in the middle was still going to be very difficult and uh, likely would end up with me getting killed. So I, I took a new approach to doing it. I went to the front gate, cracked it open a little bit, and started killing people that came up to it but it, it wasn't enough and i really wanted to know what was in that building so i did what i always did when i was faced with the challenge yeah i came up with a plan wait i have an idea i just came up with a, i came up with the best plan to clear this castle out the next day i went back to the old house because i found out that you have to use dragon bone arrows in the dragon bow and the good thing is, is that you don't need feathers to make them no you just need uh, dragon bones and uh, wither bones that's it no feathers and i really wish i knew that before Anyways, I made them. I also made some TNT, and just just wait till you see what I do with this thing. I went back to the castle and almost immediately died. Look at that. Do you see that? I was like a centimeter away from dying there. One centimeter. 
Okay, so here's my foolproof plan, okay? I would place down TNT at the gate. I would then enter the courtyard and get everyone to chase me, at which point I would lure them into the TNT's blast radius, detonate it, and then come back and collect everything. It absolutely could not fail. Nope, not gonna work. Too many of them. Too many of them. Not gonna work. It might work. This might just work. I missed it. They're stuck at the door now. This is not good. This is really not good. Yeah, it was an absolute disaster. So I went back to the village. All right, day 23, no more screwing around. I went back to the castle and bashed a man with my shield. Oh my, I, I can bounce this guy out of the hole. There he goes! He's done. Smoked him. I was determined to blow these men up, so I, I tried again. How's it going, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Okay, just took a hit. Don't want to take any hits. Come on, stay on me, stay on me, stay on me, stay on me. It, it, it sort of worked. I still had to kind of kill all of them with uh, weapons, but you know what? It worked. It was plan perfect. Went, went off. It was a good plan. Eventually, I killed enough of them to get inside the courtyard, and uh, I dashed for the house. And just wait till you see what I found inside. Look at that. Infinity. Yeah, wow. Can you believe that? I, I went upstairs and found even more good stuff. I was a rich, rich man. Uh, but don't get too excited. This stuff was good and all, but uh, there are some insanely powerful creatures in this world. And diamond weapons and armor is not even close to being the strongest. The next thing I started crafting stuff with uh, the diamonds. I First, I made crossbow bolts, and you know how good those things are. And then I made a battle hammer. Okay? This thing, it'll send a man flying back. I wanted to explore the uh, ocean, but before I could, I needed to use that anvil again. So I went back to the Roman camp, grabbed the anvil, brought it back, to, and uh, put infinity on my dragon bow. Huh, this thing, no. very strong now, very, very powerful. I also put mending and protection for my chest piece. Yeah, no way this thing was breaking. It was going to keep me safe on those o uh, open ocean waters. Uh, day 25. Okay, uh, next thing I needed to do to stay safe on the water was uh, make earplugs. These things, you, you can't go in the water without them. You'll be a dead, dead man. There's uh, mermaids out there, and uh, they sing this song, and if you hear it and you don't have earplugs, they'll pull you in, and uh, you'll go down hard. With that dealt with, uh, I walked out across the frozen bay where I initially spawned, and uh, just you know, look how good it looked out here. Hey, look at this. This is a, this is a good look. Wow. Out on the ice. Then I saw it. The beast I had been looking for. A hippogriff. I want one of those things. But I need, I need rabbit. I need rabbit feet. Oh, my man, if I could get some rabbit feet, you, you and I would be... I'd be flying you right now. I need rabbit feet. Finally, I set sail into the unknown. And I was only sailing for like five seconds before I found land. It was kind of anticlimactic. I saw this uh, orange-looking biome, and I thought, Hey, what's... Oh, what's going on in the orange place? So I sailed up to it, but to get to it, I had to go through another crocodile-infested swamp. As I was running through it, another crocodile almost tagged me. You know, a guy almost took me down. Uh, but when I finally got there, just yeah, look how good this place looked. Oh, look at you. Here, one go. This is a nice. This is a nice spot. Look at that. Look at a crocodile swimming around down there. I was just looking at the structures in the distance, and then all, this, all these guys started spawning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh! Who's this guy? <laughs> There's another one! And I was falling, and I had no choice but to make a little shelter for myself to keep me safe. But for some reason, I ended up sleeping outside of it. I don't know why. The next morning, I had to kill some sort of uh, wizard guys. These guys, like, uh, cast spells that toss me up in the air. Oh, 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 that's not good. That is not good. Not good. These guys uh, could easily kill me if I wasn't careful, but regardless, I moved on towards that uh, distant building I saw. As I got closer, I heard wind sounds, and it all started to make sense to me that this was some sort of highland wind biome, and those guys that were spawning, they were uh, wind wizards, yeah, wind wizards, you know, crazy guys. I climbed into the, the building platform thing, and uh, there was a spawner. I immediately destroyed it and uh, looted the chest. But what I got in it was this emerald helmet. Okay, this thing had like 20 plus armor or something ridiculous on it. It was very, very powerful. But you looked like a real idiot wearing it. Look at that. That doesn't... 
I no longer look good. I headed further into the highlands, and uh, eventually I came to a ridge. Oh, well, look at that. Is that the dragon bones right there? I, I wanted those dragon bones. Uh, but before I climbed down into the village, I noticed it, it was abandoned, and there was a bunch of witches that had taken it over, and there was no way I was going in there. Yeah, there's absolutely 0%. Look at that. Who would go in there? There's, there's like spider webs all over the place. You got witches everywhere. Not a good place. I very carefully approached the dragon bones. Didn't know what was going on around there. Uh, but since it was getting dark, I didn't want to risk looting it at night. So I set up camp and slept. When things were safe for the next day, I started trying to pack it all up. Oh! That guy's very close. I want that skull though. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's right there. Can they swim? They can't swim. Just went right through him. They just go right through them. They don't do anything. You can't get me, I can't get you. I didn't want to push my luck anymore, so I headed home with what I had. But on my way back, I was attacked by a sea serpent. There's a sea serpent right there. You see that? Oh, it's on land. He's jumping on land. What is, what is, you're not supposed to be out here. Oh, you're going to get back in water? Okay, no, no, stay out of the water. Luckily, it was only a small one, so I was able to kill it uh, fairly easily. But wow, any bigger of this thing, would have, I would be dead. All right, day 28. I'm going to be honest. I was feeling like I was a little bit too powerful this early. The emerald helmet I'd found was insanely strong, so I took it off. I didn't want to steamroll through this entire playthrough. I wanted a challenge. I also got rid of the uh, Minecraft Dungeons gear mod. It was giving me stuff that was way too strong. Way too strong. Let's just say like a you know, goblin or a wizard stole it all. It's gone. He, he came and took it. Hey, why didn't you leave a comment saying, wow, can't believe a wizard stole all the stuff on day 28. I needed emeralds so that I could start buying stuff from the uh, wildlife trader. So I went back to that little building where those illagers were and uh, started you know, killing the ones that were spawning inside of it to get some emeralds. I kept going. kept farming them right into day 29. And without all the over powered gear. Yeah, I was starting to take a significant amount of damage again. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's getting close. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Yeah, look at it. You know, scary there. Anyways, after I had a decent amount of emeralds, I went home in the pouring rain. When I got there, I made a, a very good decision. I put Feather Falling 4 on my boots. This was something that would uh, save my life many, many times in the future. I also uh, put Knockback 4 on my uh, battle hammer, so that when I hit people, they went even further back. When you hit someone with this thing, they went uh, flying across the map. Yeah, just here, a little day three. I want to see how far you go flying back. Ready? Oh, look at that! This thing goes so far! I blast these guys back. I spent nearly all day farming the illagers again, and, and by the end of the day, I had like 37 emeralds, which was enough to buy the, the beast that I wanted. But before I did, I wanted to find a name tag so that whatever it was that I bought didn't despawn right after I got it. But to get a name tag, I was uh, gonna have to find a dungeon. So the next day, I set sail across the ocean to, to look for one. I spotted a jungle biome, and uh, having survived Isla Ungabunga before, I wasn't at all worried about going in. And, uh, I was, ooh, I was very wrong about that. When I got there, I found a small hut, and I went in. I hear something. Oh, look at this guy. Oh! I was like, here. After killing the zombie, I went further into the jungle, and uh, this happened. Just, just look at this. Okay. Okay. What was that? These things are crawling in the... There's one right there. These things. What are these things? I killed a few more of those carnivorous plants, and yeah, I looked around the village. I went from house to house, but I didn't find anything. There was, however, a big stone tower right in the middle of the village, okay, exactly like the one that I was living in. So uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to run up there, and it's going to be easy. No, no problem. I can just blast all the men off it, considering how strong my hammer was. And, oh, it did, did not go as planned. Just 
heel, heel and relax, heel and relax, heel and relax, relax, relax. This thing is trying to get you, just relax. Just relax until you heal. Run. Yeah, had I, had I not enchanted my boots with feather falling, I would have died. I would have been a very, very dead man. Instead, I was a very happy man. Because things were getting very crazy in that jungle, I uh, made a small shelter on the jungle floor and uh, spent the night there. While I was in there, I learned that I could make a, an acidic tongue hat, which would hide me from those uh, tongue plants, the ones that shoot their tongue down and grab you. With this hat, they would not be able to see me. I'd be completely camouflaged. They'd get all confused and not know where to shoot their tongues. And without having to worry about the, those things being in the trees above me, I would be free to explore all of the jungle and hopefully find a dungeon. For now, I just spend the rest of the night doing a little bit of mining in the shelter. And then when the morning came, I very carefully left it. What? I'm just standing there. I did not want to be a man in this jungle anymore, so uh, I made a run for it. Okay, go. They're still here. I was getting real sick of those plants. But the thing was, was that they were dropping seeds. You know what you can do with those seeds? They oh, grow. Yeah, they grow into uh, more plants like that. So you can put them wherever you want. And if I was going to become an animal trader, yeah, I needed these things. And just like that, I uh, changed my mind about leaving the jungle. I turned around and went back in. But I wasn't only looking for seeds. I was also looking for vines from those uh, weird tongue plants. So I could make the, uh, the tongue hat or whatever it was called. Uh, it didn't take me long. Found found another one very quickly. It tagged me. Pulled me right up to the top of the tree. And I killed it. But yet again, I plummeted right down to the... the forest jungle floor very happy that i had feather falling otherwise i would have been dead yet again i kept looking around the jungle for them and uh, killed a bunch more of them and eventually went home with enough vines or whatever it was to uh, make the hat all right this is gonna be a good hat plant hat one armor but you know what you throw this thing on look at that totally camouflaged from those things they, they will not see me anymore just walk right through everything. Okay. I was getting sick and tired of seeing redstone monstrosity on my screen every day. Every morning I woke up, redstone monstrosity, walk around, redstone monstrosity. Couldn't escape it. Always there. And I know, yeah, you, you kill whatever is making it and the bar will go away. Find the redstone monstrosity and kill it. But I'll tell you, I, I looked for it. I looked, I looked everywhere for this thing and I could not find it. So I just came to the conclusion that if I want to get rid of this bar, I just got to move. But not now, though. I was going to do that later. For now, I went back to the jungle with my cool new hat. Yeah, you like this thing? It's very cool. I easily walk through the jungle without getting uh, snatched up by those uh, tongues anymore. Although I still had to fight those snapper plants, but it wasn't a big deal. It was pretty easy to kill. You shoot them with your bow, they go down real easy. So I crossed the jungle, and uh, I found uh, a lot of monkeys on the other side. Hey, little monkey. My man. Oh, you're laying down. How's it going? Yeah, and then I found more. That's a whole pack of monkeys. My man's the monkeys. How's it going? Look at you guys. There's so many of you. At this point, I just stopped and slept. I kept exploring the next day. I found a ravine with some sort of, you know, I don't even know what it was down there walking around. Normally, I'd climb on down and figure out what the thing was, but uh, since this was hardcore and I did not want to die, not doing it. Just ignore it. Ah, but you know what I did find? I found uh, this guy. Okay. That is a thing walking. I, 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 okay. What are you gonna do? What is this? You're a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin that's walking around. Yeah, you're gonna go down to the. That's where you're gonna go. Yeah, I love that pumpkin man. Good guy. I explored most of the day and I didn't find much uh, besides some more uh, crocodiles. There's two of them. See that? Two of them in the grass. much health look I, I, I can't go through there uh, camouflaged no slime no name tags nothing just went home okay if i was going to become the greatest animal trader in all of uh, daldar or whatever i named the place it, 
I had to leave this tower. I need a room for cages. I needed uh, water. I needed all sorts of stuff. And this uh, area wasn't cutting it. Also, I was very sick of the red soul monstrosity thing. But before I left, I went over to the animal trainer because it was time to finally buy that egg. This was going to be my first animal. Yeah, whatever it was. I have no idea. It was just an egg with some weird name. But it was the most expensive one, so uh, it, it had to be the best one. I don't know what this is. It's very expensive. So you know what? It better be. It better be worth it, because I'm doing it. All right. Well, it's very expensive. Whatever I got, I don't know what I got, but I'm glad I got it. Since I didn't have a name tag yet or a cage, I wasn't going to use it just yet, so I went out to get wood to finally start building. I was harvesting some around the tower when uh, I realized that the Romans had a ton in their chests, so I went to get it. But I guess I remembered wrong or overestimated, I don't know, because when I got there, there wasn't that much wood. I only had a little bit. The next day, I was a very hungry man again. Needed meat. Needed meat badly, and I was getting very desperate, so I finally gave in and uh, did what I didn't want to ever have to do. I killed a moose. And after that, it looks like I, I guess I went exploring again. Come on, why am I doing this? I, I was supposed to just go get food, and here I am getting distracted again. What am, what am I doing? A uh, raccoon on it. It's a uh, raccoon island. Yeah, raccoon island. It's not bad. Not bad at all. This place is not bad. I'm gonna mark it. What am I doing on Raccoon Island? Why was I here? What was I doing? There's a lot of dangerous stuff here. I, I don't even know what this thing is. There's five of them now. You think I'm coming to the water? Not a chance. Zero percent chance I'm going in that water, but you got that little... That little chest right there. No, it's not worth it. No. Oh, I, I remember. I was, I was actually looking for a place to build and uh, not explore. I don't know. I guess I just made a little campsite and slept there. The next day I found a tower with some TNT in it, and I wanted more of that, so I went in and uh, got it. Oh! Don't do it! I, I don't do it! Don't do it! You guys are gonna lose! I'm telling you right now! Okay, you wanna do it? After looking around all day, I couldn't find anywhere that I really liked to go, but I did find this swamp, and night was falling, so I thought that this was a good opportunity to maybe get some slime, so I'd spend the night here. But I had absolutely no idea how dangerous this swamp was. What are these things? What are these things? They don't, they don't even attack, they just run at you. They're quick! They're very quick! water too oh they sink look how fast they are i was out of food and i did not have any cobblestone to make a furnace and uh, just as i was getting worried yeah my man the goblin he showed up hey you see my man you scared me it's good to see you though yeah you really gave me a spook how's it going what do you got however something very unfortunate happened to my man the goblin i Come down here with me. You did this is too much. You could have. I don't know. I'm gonna get out of here without. I don't want to keep you in a box. I'm sorry. I I, I feel so bad for what. He's down there now. I can still hear him. I want my. I like that guy. So I ended up spending the entire night trying to rescue this man. Come up. Just use the ladder. Come on. It's a ladder. You just you just walk up it. No, don't be going that way. Oh, you're coming up. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Come on, yes. Please, one more step. Here. I'm going to go over here. Come trade with me. Come trade with me. Here. Here. Come here. I want to trade. I got so much stuff to trade. Good. Don't go down the hole. Don't go down there, okay? I was very happy to get him out. I, I felt bad for leaving him down there, you know. I uh, love that man. Don't want to do something like that to him. Hey, back on track. Came here to look for slime. Ended up spending the whole night messing around with the goblins. So in the morning, I went out to look to see if maybe there's some left over from the night before. Uh, and I didn't find any at all. Just a, a bunch of swamp zombies. So I got back in my boat and uh, headed home. But on my way home, my, my man the wolf, remember from the very beginning? He was back. I don't know where this guy went, but uh, I was glad to see him again. Where were you? He just... He just he... Man's gone, he comes back. Just, yeah, I, have, I haven't seen you in weeks. And he's back, all of a sudden, in the middle of the ice. Uh, you're like a ghost, my man. 
Oh, I'm gonna name you, uh, Gobo. <laughs> yeah, my man Gobo, let's go. Yeah, even crazier than that, when I got home, something insane happened. Oh, slime! Look at that! There's another one. There's two of them. This is a gift. Slime! Oh, he's trying to slime me. Look at that, I got three slime. Okay, I, I don't want anyone saying that I dig off-camera slimed or something like that. These slimes were in that forest. I don't know how, I don't know why they were the small ones, I don't know what was going on, but you know what, I wasn't going to argue with it, okay? Yeah, I was looking for slime, and here it was, exactly what I needed. Or at least, it, I thought I needed it, because I think at that time, I thought that I, so stupid, I thought I needed slime to make a name tag, even though I was going to a dungeon to find, I don't know. For some reason, I was looking for slime. And with that out of the way, I was finally ready to start building. In the morning, I made a diamond shovel, and I went into the forest. Oh, come on. Still not building yet. Oh, here is. Looking for rabbits. Right. I wrote in my notes, quote, I will build later. What do you mean later? It's almost day 40. Why, why are you looking for rabbits? I was having a hard time finding one, and I wrote in my notes, should I off-camera rabbit? Why did I write that? Yeah, everyone's gonna think that I off-camera slimed now. I didn't, okay, I did not off-camera slime, and I did not off-camera la rabbit, okay? I read that you could get rabbit feed from foxes, so I started hunting them, too. Uh, I killed a bunch of them. This was just a huge waste of a day. Okay, day 40. Really open that I got something accomplished here. Let's see. Oh, okay, I'm just wandering around. Yeah, still, still looking for rabbits. Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing that. I found a spawner in a cliff, though, which uh, meant that there was likely a chest in there. Enchanted golden apple. That's pretty good. <gasps> There's a name tag. Okay, my mans. Wow. Wow. Didn't even see that. Golden carrot. Probably need that for something. We'll take that. And uh, you can take uh, you can take that. Yeah, there was a, a name tag in there. I couldn't believe that. There was some very lucky stuff happening to me and also some very unlucky stuff happening at the same time. So, like a balancing out or something. Eventually, I gave up looking for rabbits. And I read that you have a good chance of finding them in a desert. But I had no idea where a desert was. However, uh, I knew how to find one. The next day, yeah, I made a nature compass, okay? Yeah, this thing lets you look for biomes. You type in the biome you want, and boom, it tells you what direction to go and how many blocks away. So I, I said that I wanted to go to a desert, and it told me it was 1,400 blocks away. Uh, so I got in my boat, and I set sail. Very soon after hitting the water, I saw a massive sea serpent. Oh, look at that. Oh, two of them. That was a, that was a big red one. A big green one, too. I am... Absolutely not going in that direction. No way. Oh, there's a, there's a dragon that way, too. Okay. I couldn't go any further in the boat. The, the dragon would kill me, and I didn't want to be anywhere close to those sea serpents. So I went left and started on foot, and uh, wow. I'm glad I did, because just look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. My emu. How's it going, my man? I like this guy. I like the way he walks around. He's a good guy right here. Kangaroos too. Not bad. And this, this is a bonus. Oh, there's two of them. There's another one right there. What do you think about an emu? That's a, a big bird. So I kept crossing the savanna, and eventually, yeah, I, I, I ran into the, these guys. Oh, no, okay, okay. 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 Not these guys. Not these guys. They try to get around you. They'll blast the guy. Come here. They try something. I'll blast them back. They'll blast them across the map. Come here. Yeah, run. Run. You want to chase me? I'm going to chase you now. Oh, oh. Okay. Hey, these guys. Yeah, I love these guys. Uh, last time I ran into them, it did not end well. I uploaded a clip of it to my channel, and uh, wow, they are they relentless. I ended up digging into a cave and uh, spending the night there. In the morning, I went out and picked up all the masks that they dropped. The, the first one I found gave me a jump boost. I wanted to know what the others might do, so I started looking for more, and uh, just, just look what happened here. Oh, there's a whole other pack of them. Oh. Oh, he picked one up! He's fighting them! He's eating those guys! He's just, he's just fighting them! I, okay. Okay, I, I didn't want to be a man eaten by a cyclops, so I ran up the hill to get out of there, and from up top, I, I saw more of the bloodshed. 
This man was picking up all the mask guys and just eating them whole. There was also like five dragons around. This was a dangerous area. Mask guys, cyclops, dragons, emus. It was not good. Ahead of me was what looked like a clear shot across the ocean to the desert. But, you know, it's, it's never that simple. And knowing that, I got on my boat and, and cautiously set sail. I just want rabbits. I just want a rabbit. Just, I just want one rabbit, two rabbit feet. That's all I want. When I got to the desert, I immediately saw a dragon. So I got right back in my boat and, and left. I sailed further down and spotted what I thought was a village that I could sleep in. But, uh, wow. Wow, I was very wrong. Oh, someone's hitting the drum. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was just me and all these guys. And I thought yeah, maybe if I kill their chief, then I they would stop spawning and I could get whatever was in that village. But that, oh, that was a big mistake. I attacked the village. Oh. Oh, I hit him. Oh, here they come. There's so many of them. Okay. 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 Oh, there's another group of them. Okay, he poisoned me. He poisoned me. Okay. There's another group of them. There's too many. There's too many. There's groups of these things everywhere. There's dragons that way. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is not good. I'm getting hit by poison darts. I can't. This is not good. Everywhere I run, there's these things. Ah, oh, this is an elephant. Yeah, I was chased by those guys for nearly the entire day. I eventually got away after killing a few of them, but I was getting sick of these guys. I built a small shelter because in the morning, yeah, I was launching a full-out assault on these guys. When the sun rose, I launched my attack. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, I, sh I shot the goblin. He dropped an apple. He dropped an apple. I need that apple. All right, now for the chief. So I went home uh, without a rabbit foot. Uh, once again, I had to uh, sail across the open sea. Okay, okay, please. I, I, I don't know what you want. I, I, I don't like the whale. I don't like the whale. I don't like the whale. There's a dragon there. Can you just? I don't like. How, I don't like how it's swimming near me. Please, please, please swim somewhere else. There's a dragon right there. I don't like this whale. I do not like the. I don't like the whale. I don't like the whale swimming so close. Because you don't know what it's doing. I spent the entire next day uh, walking around the forest yet again looking for rabbits. Yeah, another wasted day. Although, uh, there was a nice sunset, though. No rabbits for me. Whole day looking for rabbits. Couldn't find a single one. Yeah, yeah, I really needed wither bones. I was running out of them. Uh, luckily for me, the, the first village that I found at the very beginning, you know, there was tons of wither skeletons inside a building, so uh, I went back there and I got a bunch. It was very, very easy. I also finally chose where I was going to build. Uh, day 46. You know where it was? 
right where I initially spawned. Yeah, the area was perfect. There was no point going any further than this. I was really hoping that I could find a snapping turtle here, but uh, as you know, I did not find any more. Still very sad about that. Uh, but there's a lot of junk around here that I needed to clear out, so I started clearing the area, and not even five minutes later, I decided that it was you know, too much work. So uh, I moved over slightly towards the water where there was less trees and stuff to cut down, and uh, I started digging. Hey, your crocodile's right by my base. How's it going? You're gonna sit here. Oh! Oh, Jay's got me! He's got me! Oh! Oh, oh, go! Oh! He's, he's spinning! He's spinning! He's spinning! He's tripping! Go, go, go! Okay, yeah, that thing dragged me into the river. You see that? Yeah, I didn't want to kill it because eventually I wanted to capture it, but now, oh, wow, gotta be careful with something like this around. I worked on the house again the next day, uh, and that crocodile, he came back. He was following me around. You just, okay, come on, I'm gonna... Let's not do this. You stay over there. My man, I gotta, I'm trying to build a base here. What are you doing? I don't, I don't want to kill you, because I want you eventually to be involved in the base. Watch out for the jaws like that. Oh, oh it's got me, it's got me, it's got me. It's got me. Get out, get out, get out. Left ship, left ship. Oh, it's got me again. It's got me again. Left ship. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Left ship. Okay, 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 okay. No, no. Swim, 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 swim. Hey, day 48. Started running into problems already. I love that. Uh, so I thought that I could dig up dirt from other biomes. Like if I went over to the swamp, I could dig up some swamp uh, grass and bring it over here. Or snow, bring it. You can't do that. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Which meant that my entire uh, compound was just going to look like this. This uh, kind of brown grass. Not Doesn't look too good. So I moved yet again. Yeah, I wasted all that time digging here. And the uh, worst part about it was that I probably dug up several hundred pieces of uh, dirt. Which w would have been excellent for what I was about to do. Uh, instead, I just they threw it all in the river. So uh, I'm glad I did that. I was also running out of food and my bow was about to break. So I had to go back to the uh, tower to deal with all that. Next day, I was back at the build site, uh, getting ready to go on the uh, third location now. And uh, my man, the crocodile, he came back and he uh, started harassing me again. I wouldn't leave me alone. My man, relax. We're going to learn to live together, all right? You and me. Since I was now uh, pretty much just filling in a huge chunk of land above water, and I needed a lot of dirt, so uh, I had to spend a good chunk of the day digging again. So the next day, I was out uh, chopping down a tree, minding my own business, not, not paying attention to my man, the crocodile, and he, uh, he snuck up on me and got a little tag on me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's got me, he's got me. My man, he got it. Okay. Okay, you gotta relax. After seeing that man swim around, I, I had an idea. But I would need glass, stone, and some other stuff to make it work. I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here. Day 51. What was I doing on day 51? Uh, I'll tell you. I, I needed food. So uh, I went back to the tower, and on my way through the forest, I, again, looking for some more rabbits and foxes. And uh, I found a fox, but I didn't get any rabbit feed from it. But, but I learned something that I should have found out a long time ago. You don't run through the forest at full speed, sprinting and jumping if you're looking for rabbits. You gotta, you gotta go very slow, you know. Take your time. Walk around. And uh, then you might see one. When I got back to the uh, build site, I set up a small cave where I could put some furnaces so that I had a place to cook food and stone and uh, all that sort of stuff while I was working. Kept working the next day, day 52. Working, working, working. That's all I was doing, you know, laying down dirt, figuring out where things were going, putting down stone, doing all sorts of stuff. And uh, guess who was still there? Yeah, my man, the crocodile. He loved me. He wouldn't, wouldn't leave me alone. This guy was, guy was crazy. I love this guy. Okay, you need to relax, okay? Truly, you can't, you can't be doing that. Stop with that. I'm not a. Come on, relax. Oh, he's got me. Come on, go. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Okay, you How gotta stop that. Walking? All right. You gotta stop that. Here, take that. Take that. He doesn't want that. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't care about that at all. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. No. 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 Get out! 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 No! 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 Okay, this is this is stupid. This is getting stupid. Okay, you ever try to build a house with a, a crocodile harassing you like this? This guy was just—he was getting out of hand now. But the good thing was was that even if he did bite me, I knew that it wouldn't kill me, so I wasn't as afraid of him anymore. And again, the next day I just worked on the house, uh, I, you know, cage, whatever you want to call it. I got the outline for the crocodile tank built. 
Next day, she just kept working, 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 working. I jumped in the water to see if I could use uh, glass panes instead of uh, blocks underwater. And uh, look at this, you can. I thought you had to use glass blocks. No, you can just use the thin ones, which was great because it would save me a ton of glass. But I did not like being down there underwater with the, that guy swimming around me. Crocodile nearby, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Day 55, uh, things were going well, but uh, I needed more supplies for the, from the tower, so I started to run through the woods. And that's when I ran into more raccoons. Here, let's go. Here, take them. Dig the berries. Go, go. Have fun with them. Yeah, grab those berries. Where are you going? Ah, uh, there's... Bring them down to the... What are you doing? Are you washing them? You brought the... Are you joking me? That's, uh... I like that. I started putting up the walls, but like usual, I, I did not like the look of it. The next day it would have been my last had it not been for Feather falling. Yet again, as he just didn't chant, kept saving me. I... I am so glad I have Feather falling. I worked on the house more and started filling in dirt on the side of the tank to make it look a little bit more like a swamp. I redid the trim on the tank with stone bricks and started making the land grass section look a bit better by digging holes in it. And I was really trying to make this thing look like a, an actual swamp, you know? So my man, the crocodile, once it got here, would feel right at home. The day after that, I uh, used some bone meal to make it look way better. Look at this! I was happy with how it looked, but uh, now I needed a way to make my man, the crocodile, to stay inside the area. So I made 64 cages. Yeah, 64. I was going to use them, but then I thought that maybe wooden lattice might look better. Uh, but to make it, you need a stone cutter, and I didn't have any. Yeah, I'll just skip to the point. I made a stone cutter and uh, made the lattice, okay? I wrote like a, a page here. Why did I write so much? I just made the stone cutter by day 60 and then made the lattice. But I made, I made way too much. Like, how do, why did I need this much lattice? I just made like hundreds of it. Anyways, by uh, day 61, the entire tank was done. It was sealed in, ready to go. The only problem was that it lowered my frame rate a little bit, but you don't worry about that. And this is, here it is. The only thing left to do is uh, find my man, the crocodile, and uh, get him in there. The only problem was, was that, uh, yeah, a guy was gone. He probably watched me build this thing and said, nope, not going in there, and swam away. So I looked everywhere for him, and I absolutely could not find the man. He was just gone. However, the next day on day 62, I was getting really close to giving up and going back to the old swamp and looking for a new crocodile to, like, somehow lure over here when I found my man on the side of a beach. Looks like he just swam away a little bit. Was, uh, no problem. Found him. My man! He's back! However, yeah, the new problem was trying to get this man back to the cage. Oh, okay. Okay, stop. Stop! He's grabbing me. Okay. Swim, 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 swim. Okay, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Stop, stop! I, I'm gonna, if you come close, I'm gonna have to bonk you. I'm gonna have to bonk you. I don't wanna bonk you. Don't, don't be going away. No, no, come back. No, no, don't be going far. Don't be going, come on. I'm right here. Okay, I'm gonna, you stay there. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a boat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab you with this lead. Hope it works, and then we're going, okay?
Here's the problem though, you get too close to the glass, watch, can you bite you through the glass? How's it going my man? The tank was uh, missing a few decorations, so I went back to the tower to get them and I grabbed those uh, like skeletons and, uh, that I found a long time ago, as, as well as those uh, carnivorous plant seeds and some iron and stuff. Everything was going good and then it just got, it got so much better, because on my way home, it finally happened. I finally found a rabbit. There's a rabbit right there. <laughs> I thought that was a rabbit foot. I got so excited. Wait, here, rabbit. I hear another one. There's another one. Okay, okay. Where did it go? My man, you're gonna give me your foot, okay? You're gonna give me your foot. Today's the day I get a foot. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, you're gonna give me your foot. Come on. All I want is your foot. Foot? Is that a rabbit foot? Is that a rabbit foot? Tell me right now. That's a rabbit's foot. That's a rabbit's foot. Yeah, there it is. Finally, <laughs> day 64. Rabbit foot. I wish I had it on like day five, but uh, you know what? It's fine. It's good. The following day, I uh, planted those carnivorous plant seeds in the tank with the crocodile. I also wanted to put skeletons down, so uh, but to do that, you needed to you know, get in the tank with the guy. I read that you need to feed these things meat, but when I tried to give it rabbit, it, it didn't do anything. Uh, maybe it just takes time. Regardless, the tank was mostly done now, and uh, it looked, you know what? I was pretty happy with how it looked. This place is looking great. I wanna see what the, I wanna see what the skeleton looks like. You can kinda of see him down there. There he is, look at that. And my big man swimming around. Oh, okay. I tried to feed the plant again in the morning, but it still didn't take any of that meat. I thought maybe it needs to be certain types of meat, like a cow or a chicken or something like that, so I set sail to hunt for various types of meat to feed it. And I eventually ended up at some sort of jungle plains type area, and there was lots, I mean a ton of plants like this. They were uh, growing everywhere, like Plant City. Okay, if they eat monkeys, I'm gonna have to... I'm sorry, my man. There's so many, look how many of these things there is. I got sheep and kangaroo meat and headed home. Uh, when I got there, the, the plant had grown, so I tried feeding him again. How's it going, my man? Oh, you're hungry. There it is. Okay, here you go, here's another one. Oh, you only you eat, you only eat uh, every half day, okay. I fed the plant again in the morning. This man loves meat, he gobbles it up. And then I got to work on the uh, the next enclosure. If it, be, if it was gonna be the best animal trader, it's gonna have to have some uh, good cages, you know? So uh, this one, oh, this one was gonna be for whatever it was that I bought from the original animal trader all that time ago. Uh, the mysterious egg I got. Since I didn't know if this thing could fly or what it could, what it could do, I just uh, started digging into the side of the hill where I thought that you know, this would make for a good cage if I closed it off and uh, looked inside. Once again, before going to bed, I uh, yeah, fed the plant. These guys love eating. Here you go, eat up. There you go. Enjoy that. Just kept doing that the next day. Same thing, just worked on the uh, cage, dug, and did some sort of stuff. Yeah, boring day, okay? Uh, but day 69, okay, let me tell you about day 69. I didn't have walls around my base yet. Who doesn't have walls up by day 69? This was, I, had so, I was trying to do so many things at once here. I was like, man, divided. Okay, so, uh, I don't like anything that I did today. Uh, that's good. Spent all day doing a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna undo tomorrow. Day 70. Wow. Okay, day 70. You know, big 7-0. Uh, this was actually a, a good day. My, uh, my man, the plant, it was fully grown. Hey! My man's fully grown! How's it going, my man? Okay. Yeah, I thought you would remember me. Yeah, look at that! Full grown plant, pretty good! Uh, I started working on the underwater observatory now for the crocodile. I guess I just gave up on the cage or something. Uh, but by the end of the day, I had the frame of that done. I had a glass to the sides of it so that if it was underwater, you could look out and see around. And then for the top, I figured that I would like put a nice dock up there or something. Who doesn't love a good dock, you know? That's what I always say. Because I was working on a dock or thinking about it, I remembered about the uh, mod that I added that lets you build all sorts of cool boats. Yeah, you'll see some more of those later. Uh, but I needed lots of wood to make this dock, so uh, I went out to start doing that, I think. I know, I had to go fix my tools or something. I don't know. I went back to the old tower and uh, I got the name tag that I found and the spawn egg. I was finally so excited. Excited to use this. So the next day I grabbed it, went back to uh, to the uh, whatever my place was called, and uh, walked into the cage, egg in hand with the name tag, and finally ready to find out what was in this egg. So I went in and I hatched it.
there was men in the egg. There was just like 10 men inside of the egg. I spent like 32 emeralds and 32 diamonds on that thing. I wasted days looking for a name tag for this thing. I had even more time and resources making a cage for it. Are, are you... And don't even get me started what was on it in the chest. It just gave me this thing that lets me spawn bats. That's it. I, I was just a man who could spawn bats after all that work. What, what do you think? There, how was I supposed to know that there was going to be men inside of that egg? Anyways, uh really bother me. The next day I needed to get some sand so that I could get rid of the water in the underwater observatory. So I went out to get some and I ended up going in the castle shortly after to grab some food. I didn't find any food but I did climb to the top of one of their towers and from there I, I saw like three more crocodiles. Oh there's two alligators there. I'm gonna need to get those. There's three alligators. I need to get those guys to my base. When I got back, I started filling in the tunnel with uh, the sand. This could have been so much easier if I had bought a sea sponge from the goblin trader, but uh, I wasted all my emeralds on buying an egg full of men. I'm glad I did that. I kept working on it the next day, but I was starting to get very worried about finishing everything on time since it was now day 74 and uh, I barely even had a base. This was, things were going well. My only hope at actually finishing this thing because the sand wasn't working the water was popping out from the windows even when I put down sand was uh, to get a sea sponge. Uh, so I went back to that illager farm to get emeralds so that I could buy one from my man the goblin. Uh, but on my way I sh shot down a pixie and dropped like uh, 15 stakes. Very happy to get that. I got to the farm and I started killing them. Oh! Okay, that was three emeralds with that. That scared me. After I got what I, what I thought would be enough, I left for the Goblin Trader. At this point, it was night though, and uh, there was a lot of guys out there. He was throwing snowballs at me. After battling tons of stuff, I finally made it to the Goblin Trader, and uh, yeah, I felt like a felt like a bit of an idiot because uh, this man did not sell sea sponges. No, not this one. Some other other Goblin Traders do, but uh, this man does not. So we're just gonna waste the time doing this. I'm back. No sea sponge. Hopefully, a Goblin walks up. Okay. At this point, I was starting to think about naming the video. I spent a hundred days looking for things. It felt like a man who could never find the thing that he needed, and only the stuff that he didn't need. It was a big problem. Yay, day 76. There was a man working on the dock. Nothing more, nothing less. However, the next morning, I realized that my man, the crocodile, he was gone. Ooh. I looked through the tank, and uh, yeah, that guy was he was nowhere to be found. He didn't despawn, so I had no idea where he went. Yeah, but then yeah, it dawned on me. Yeah, the plant probably killed him. I loved that crocodile. That guy was around since the very beginning. And, uh... The plant just uh, killed him. Anyways, I just kept working on the dock, and uh, I mostly got it finished. I mean, I was, I was pretty bummed at this point, though, that my crocodile was gone, although the, the dock did look good. Couldn't stop thinking about my man, the crocodile, and how this plant killed him, so uh, I climbed into the tank and killed him. Okay, not having that guy in there. No way. Not, not the man who killed my crocodile. So uh, I figured I would relocate him or plant his seed somewhere else in the big cage or something. I don't know. I just was mad at this plant. Through the night, I kept working on the dock. I got a roof up to make it look a little bit better. But the next day? Yeah. The next day, the plan was to get another crocodile, okay? Remember when I was on that castle tower a few days ago and I spotted those crocodiles in the swamp? Well, you know, you know what? I was going to get one of those guys. But he's an angry one, okay? This is good. You're going to follow me. And you're not going to chomp me, okay? Okay, one of the worst parts is coming up. We're gonna have to get in the water, okay? You don't want to get in the water with a beast like this. You can swim, I can swim. Oh, I hope I can swim faster than you. I can't swim faster than you. Okay. No, don't be climbing. Don't be climbing stuff. Don't be climbing the walls. What are you doing? Don't climb the wall again. Don't climb the wall. Don't. Why are you climbing the walls? What are you doing? This is not. Okay. That's not what you're supposed. Are you joking? Okay. You coming in? Are you in? Hey, how's it going? I'm right here. Wait, you need even more? All right, come on in. Oh, okay, okay. Oh! Okay, he's in. Okay, that scared me. That one, that one really scared me. I almost died trying to get that man, but you know what? It was worth it. Yeah, glad to have him. Now I wanted to do something with the emu eggs I had, so I started making an emu cage with the leftover lattice I had. And while I was working on it, 
I was attacked by, for the first time by these uh, flying things. What is that? What are these? What are these things? Ah! What are those things? They're like flying, flying beasts. They're dive bombing at me. I barely play this version of Minecraft, and so th these things are pretty new to me. I, I don't even know what they're called still. Are they, what are they called? Wraiths? I don't know. I'm just gonna call them that from now on. I think I was told what their name is. I, I can't remember though. Okay, I'm just gonna, it's fine. Don't worry, hey, don't worry about it, okay? They're called Wraiths from now. Regardless, I just kept working on the emu enclosure. I wanted to swap out the grass for like uh, dirt or uh, some sort of like terrain that they would normally be found on so that their little feet could walk around on uh, some good stuff. In the morning, I got on my boat and uh, set sail looking for something, and uh, eventually I found this uh, terracotta stuff. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's this weird looking dirt stuff. Uh, so I spent a good amount of time digging it out and uh, getting a bunch of it. After gathering what I thought was enough, I, I left the dig site and I uh, climbed a little hill and took a look across the lake and saw a dragon. Oh, look, there's a dead dragon there. That guy killed the other dragon. What if I eat this apple and just go fight the dragon? I decided not to because, he, I, let's be honest, I would probably die. But you know what? I thought about it, okay? That dragon was probably weak. He was probably damaged from the fight he had with the other dragon and that it might not be that difficult to kill him. But for now, I just went back to the dock and pulled my boat and everything looked good. It was good. My base was looking good. I was happy with that. So I put the terracotta down in the enclosure. Uh, but you know what? I did not have enough. So I had to go back and get more. Uh, but on my way back, I realized how stupid I was. You know, it could have... Eh. Could have been a man living in a castle. No. The whole thing would have looked like the swamp stuff that I like to do. Could have made my own little dock coming out the back or something. Could have put the cages up. In the morning, I I found a man in one of my boats. Can you believe this? No. Oh. How's it going, my man? I'm glad. Hey, that's uh. You stay there. It's good to have you. Oh, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt. You gotta be in the shade. No. 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 Okay, we're good. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be in the shade. I couldn't stop thinking about the dragon, and I thought that, you know what? If I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna spend 100 days in this medieval stuff, I gotta kill a dragon. But if I was gonna do this, I was gonna need fire resistance potions, which meant going to the nether. I built the portal in the ruins of the first one I found a long time ago, and I went in. Immediately, this man started launching guys at me. Okay, that guy's, launch that guy's launching things at me. I don't know what this thing is. No. I killed him and uh, got magma cream. Well, that was good. I just needed nether wart now. So I started looking for a nether fortress, but instead I got a, a chased by a pig man. How's it going? Oh! I remember hearing that you need, like, uh, golden helmets. Look at these guys that stop chasing you. I guess the helmet confuses them or something. I don't know. So uh, I left to go get one. Uh, and when I came out of the portal, it was the next day. I went back to the old tower and I got a bunch of supplies, like a golden apple, a uh, golden fancy bow or something, a uh, golden helmet. I got everything I needed. I also realized that I could make this beautiful trident with the sea serpent scales I had. And I just, look at this thing. It was a good weapon. Just as I was about to head back through the portal, though, my man the goblin was back. And this time, you know what? My man had a sea sponge. I was so happy to see that, okay? This guy came out of nowhere a, with a sea sponge. Very happy to see me. I was happy to see him. It was good. And the goblins are always good. And just like that, I figured I'd put this whole nether thing on hold while I went back and built the underwater observatory now that I had uh, emu eggs and sea sponges and everything I needed. Okay, emu eggs. Little guy. Do. Okay, only do. How's it going? Hey, little guy. How about you? Little emu. The following day, I used the sponge, but I, I had no idea how this thing worked. I thought you just you know, put it down, it sucks up the water, and then you break it, and that's it. But uh, no, you gotta put it in a furnace or something like that. Anyways, I spent like all day using this thing to soak up water in the underwater hallway, and uh, when I was done, it, uh, it did not look good at all. It's done, and uh, you can't really see much. Sounds good. Once again, I spent a ton of time making this, and I'm pretty sure this was one of the only times I came down here. Yeah, that's good. Love that. I went over to the castle and spent the night gathering stone brick from the walls. I spent the entire next day trying to make my walls look nice, and uh, eventually just gave up. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. This doesn't look good. 
I thought maybe if I made a cool staircase going down to the observatory, it might look better, but uh, no, could not get that to look good either. Just another waste. I was feeling pretty bad about my ability to build stuff right now. With all of that out of the way, it was finally time to go back to the nether. Uh, so I found that pig guy and I started making some trades. What do I got for you? Ready? Take that. Gold. You like that? What do you know about that? Soul sand. Oh, but then uh, something bad happened. Something very, very bad. I, uh, I got lost. I had absolutely no idea where I was or how to get back. So I started freaking out and uh, running around like a scared animal. I was very, very lost, and I just made it worse by running in random directions. I had no idea what to do or how to get home. So I kept walking, and eventually I found more pig guys, and I, I tried to trade with them, but uh, no, this man had no intention on trading with me. Good or bad? You want gold? There you go. Oh. Not a good guy, not a good guy. I killed all of those uh, pig things and uh, started looting the chests. And you know what? I got very lucky. Very, very lucky because one of the chests happened to have obsidian in it, which I needed to get home. So I made the portal and I got right out of there. But ooh, the problems did not end there because when I came out of the portal, yeah, I was floating above an ocean. Yeah, an ocean? Not just a regular ocean. No, that would have been too easy. No, there was uh, sharks. There's sharks everywhere. You see what's around me? Oh! Yeah, I love that. Man stranded on a platform above uh, shark infested water. It was good. In the distance, I saw that there was like a house or something in the mountains that had smoke coming from its chimney, and that, that might be worth seeing if there was anything cool in there. But for now, I just there was no way of me getting to there without jumping in those shark water. So I turned around and went back into the nether and uh, just kept running around looking for anything that looked m moderately familiar. And you know what? Some, there was something that was kind of familiar. Uh, another little goblin. But what is this stuff? What are you doing here? Oh, you'll give me another word. Look at this. All right, my man. Good to see you. Look at this little fire goblin. I kept looking and there, there was nothing. I could not find how to get out of here. And it was dawning on me that my only shot out of here alive was taking my chances and jumping into that shark infested water. So I went back through the portal, loaded up my nearly broken uh, dragon bow and started firing at the hammerhead sharks, trying to kill as many of these things as I could before I jumped in. And then I jumped. I hit the water and swam. I swam as fast as I could and, and got to the shore where I emerged like a Navy SEAL or something, ready to go. And let me tell you, it was not safe on that land. There was creatures everywhere. I spotted the village and I went for it, but when I got close, like 15 guys spawned. So you know what I did? I just turned around, ran the opposite direction, not fighting all those guys. I ran into a field where there was even more things to fight, and eventually I just kept running and running until the point where some sort of a giant chicken, yeah, a giant chicken attacked me. And this the big chicken, it, it, it almost killed me. Yeah, I had to like open up my inventory and, and wildly search for one of the special golden apples needed. If I didn't do that, this thing would have killed me. I felt like a high level IQ play. Like, you know that dream guy? Felt like him. Yeah, why well, you can go ahead and put put that in the uh, video. Top five incredible Minecraft plays right here. Anyways, uh, morning finally came. That was a, a pretty rough day before. Anyways, things were just about to get way, way worse. I got attacked by a dragon. just to fight one of these things and just like that I, I took one down yeah that's uh oh that's that's good spent like four days lost my house lost everything trying to do this oh, i'm glad this happened but because i was I freshly off a dragon kill us i guess i was feeling good so uh, there were some cyclopses in the distance and you know what i thought that i thought i could kill one so i went for it but you know why not take one on come here down easy uh, but then uh, ooh, a second one started chasing me and uh, I ran ran as fast as I could straight into the jungle and uh, everything fell apart I wanted to get 
get out of there as soon as possible. I, I made a boat and got in and sailed. Didn't know where I was going, just wanted to get off this uh, death island. It's a dragon flying across the ocean. Come on. Come on. When I got to the other shore, the things didn't get much better. I had to make earplugs to fight mermaids, and then I was attacked by a sea serpent. It just didn't end. It did not end. They, everything was coming after me at this point. I survived, but any more encounters like this, it was going to be over for me. I was just getting lucky at this point. I found a moderately safe spot and made a hut, but I did not sleep. I used the mermaid scales to make the tide guardian armor. I think I made, like, legs or something. I don't know. But more importantly, uh, I needed to make a compass to find my way home. So I started digging, and I got some iron. The next day, I started looking for redstone, and it didn't take long to find some. It was pretty easy. So I made the compass, and uh, I got out of there. Okay? And I just left. Set sail into the pouring rain. I was a man determined to get home. It didn't take long for me to do something very stupid. I guess I wanted to press Q while I had my uh, beautiful dragon bow selected. I uh, tossed it right into the ocean. What did I just throw out? I just pressed Q on something. What did I throw out? I threw out my dragon bow. I kept sailing through the dark sea, and I passed uh, this spooky mushroom area that honestly I probably would have wanted to check out, but uh, I was done getting harassed by things for the day. I thought that the moment I stepped foot on that shore, some sort of mushroom person would uh, grab me and then pile drive me and head first into the ground and uh, turn me into a mushroom or something. So I just thought, no, not, not doing that. So I kept sailing, very desperate to see anything at all that looked remotely familiar. And just as I was giving up hope, I saw the one thing that I told me exactly where I was. Is that the portal? This is it. This is it. This is where I came from. Redstone monstrosity. Yeah, that popped up on my screen, and I was... I couldn't be happier to see that. There it is. I'm home. Feels so good to be home. Hey, there's my man. My man in the boat. How's it going? I'm back. Emus, good to see you. Hello. You guys lady eggs? The next day I wanted to fix my bow, but uh, just as I was about to do that, those uh, flying things, uh, whatever they're called, the wraiths, they attacked. However, this time, yeah, this time I had a plan. I bet you I could catch one of these things. Okay, I'm going to try to catch one of these things. First of all, i got to kill this guy, I'm sorry. Okay, is it still here? Okay, it's still here. Okay, good. I'm right here, I'm right here. Come on, come on. Come on down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, turn the corner. Oh, come on, look, right here. Come on, get in the house, in the house. In the house, in the house, yes. Got him. Got him. Now look at this. Come in here. Look what I got. I got one of the flying things. I acted quickly and I used the name tag I made for that egg. I don't want to talk about that egg anymore. I named the thing uh, Razar. Yeah, good name for this man. And with this thing secured, creature by creature, I was becoming the best animal trader in all of Daldar. Hey, by the way, uh, you know that bad omen thing I had? It just disappeared at some point. You see that? Yeah, well, when did that go away? I didn't drink any milk or anything like that. So uh, maybe the apple? I don't know. Why, why is that not there anymore? It makes me worried. Anyways, I went back to the old house and uh, got the anvil and uh, came back. Day 88. I was still technically living out of a cave. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an accomplishment right there. So I started working on something for me to sleep in, you know. I was tired of living in a cave, living in a tower, living in a village house. I needed something for me, you know. Since there wasn't much room left in the camp, I decided to make, like, a tower. So that's what I started building. Uh, nice and high above everything else, you know, so I could look out and see what was going on around the area. But I quickly got distracted and uh, captured a bear instead. Got this man in a cage. There we go. There we go. Got him. Uh, I split the emu enclosure in half and uh, put the bear on the other side. After taking care of that, I finally started building my tower. The following day, I headed up and I started uh, with spruce supports, then adding some stone bricks for the walls, and then uh, adding more spruce cross supports, uh, and then spruce wood planks for the. It just looked okay. Look at this. It just, you don't need to go step by step. It just uh, looked okay, especially when I added this nice little lantern on a chain. It looked good. Look at that. Old lantern hanging by a chain. Looks good. I worked on it for pretty much the entire next day, uh, but when I got to the top platform, it just kind of made it look bad. It was way too bulky, I think, and I uh, wasn't entirely sure how to fix it. 
So on day 91, I, I thought that maybe if I installed the Quark mod that I could get some more variation in wood walls, but I learned that one of the mods I had already let me make these thin spruce poles, which it helped, but still wasn't making it as good as it could be. So I thought the next best thing to do would be to uh, increase the height of the tower so then it wouldn't look so uh, bulky. So I did that all day and all night worked on that. I was a busy, busy man. I was up real high on that tower, and uh, since I no longer had feather falling, if I fell off this, I was going to die, which uh, made me very nervous. Uh, but you know what? I got it done. Okay, there we go. Look at this. A beautiful tower. It's not bad. Next, I wanted to make one of those cool ships. Uh, who doesn't want a cool boat? But uh, I needed a lot of string and wool to do that. I knew exactly where to get some wool. The, uh, the tent that the Roman outpost had uh, was made out of wool, so uh, I went there and got some. The next day, I came back home and made the first part of the ship, uh, the galley. But you know what? That wasn't good enough. I wanted to make this bad boy a war galley. I felt like a, a Tony Stark or someone working on this thing. But I was short two string. That's all I needed to do it. Uh, so I went out looking for spiders. Again, hey, looking for more stuff. Uh, it took me all night, but eventually I found a pack of them and got my string. In the morning, I made this ship in. Just oh, look at this thing. Look how beautiful this ship is. This is one big boat. Oh, look at that thing. That was a big boat. I sailed this thing out to sea, and eventually I got to one of those temples and I uh, got some cobwebs, which I would need to make string so I could uh, fix my dragon bow. Look at my ship. I love this thing. This thing is incredible. There's B. Where? back i accidentally made uh, three of these things yeah I, I did not mean to do that but i guess it doesn't matter because it's day 95 although if i i would have been very mad about this if it wasn't anyways i repaired my bow uh because tomorrow i was planning on hunting a beast i tracked it down to his nest this thing yeah this was a hydra here we go let spit on me i cut off one of his heads it's got more heads now how many heads does this thing have? Look how many heads it has! It's just spitting its goo at me. As I attacked, it grew stronger. Every head I cut off, two more grew in its place. I didn't know what to do, so yeah, I just like, looked it up online, if I'm being honest. I found out you need fire to kill this thing, and the only place that I could get fire at this point was Dragon Blood. I returned home and made as many golden apples as I could. I also made a chain lead. You'll, you'll see a little bit why that is a little bit later on. At this point, I had no way of getting any fire resistance. The only fire resistance I had was some dragon armor that I crafted uh, from the first dragon that I killed. If you have dragon armor, it prevents you from getting burned too bad from the dragon breath attacks, and I was hoping that that would be enough. I also made some golden apples, but again, I didn't really have any of the, the strong golden apples, if you know what I mean. Like the good ones. The last step was to find a hippogriff, and I was hoping that my one rabbit foot would be enough to tame it, so I got on my boat and I set sail looking for one. And you know what? Yeah, I couldn't all find one. Like usual, I was searching for one everywhere. I looked everywhere, no trace of these things, gone. Saw tons of them before, but uh, here, when I needed one, no, oh, they were uh, hiding or something. Uh, so once again, I was thinking about uh, finding one off camera, <laughs> you know what I mean. But it was dawning on me that I was going to have to fight this dragon hand to hand. The next day I set sail to the dragon's nest, and when I was ready, I attacked. Okay. I don't have a shield, I just realized. Play me! Yeah. Did that man just die with one arrow? One arrow. Yeah, I, uh, I don't even know what to say about that. It just, uh, I, I don't know, okay? I, I don't know. I got the dragon blood from both of the dragons. One of them was a fire dragon, but the other one, I think it was like an electric dragon. I didn't even know that there was electric dragons. When I got back, I found out that I could not make a bow with the blood. It had to be a sword. So I made two. I made a fire one and a lightning one. With those, I grabbed everything else I could. I got the ice thing from Frostmaw, the mask, my apples, and most importantly, the chain lead. Because here's the thing, I had no intention of killing the beast. No. My plan was to tame this thing. If I could pull this off, I truly would be the best animal trader in all of Daldar. 
I was either gonna tame this thing or die trying. Here we go. Look how many heads it has. If I get close enough to it where it can't spit on me. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Okay. Plan B. Thank uh -huh.